Now what do we have here? Iron Man 2 Neon Tech Iron Suit. Ah, <sighs> this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Happy New Year, folks. This is Denobi 2. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. We are going to start off 2019 with a neon stellar bang. This is cool. I've been patiently waiting for this figure and it is finally here and I suspect it's going to be a glorious unboxing if I do say so myself look at that look how pretty that looks look how awesome and pretty that looks this is really really cool uh, I did make myself a promise that I would not venture out of the canon Iron Man suits but the die cast are just so Gosh darn cool! I, I, it's it's hard. It was really hard. Plus, it, it's they did such a good job on this. They really, really did. I I, I don't know what else to say. Yes, I am biased. I, I am. I, I really, really am. What's what? Luminous reflective effects on the box and figure. We'll have to put that to the test later in the video. Ah. <sighs> But Denobi, it's a repaint of the Mark IV. Of course I know it's a repaint of the Mark IV. That's not the point. The point is that this is a cool a neon tech suit. It's stellar. But it's it's, it's a ripoff of Tron. Of course it's a ripoff of Tron. You don't think I have my Tron action figure here for crying out loud? Jesus. I don't care. It's an Iron Man diecast suit. Do you know what that means? You know what that really means? It's gonna be glorious. It's it. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Just let me get this open. Oh my God! It's so beautiful. Look at it glow. Oh. I wasn't kidding. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this. This is really cool. I. I'm really, really stoked about this. Look at this finish. Look at that glossy black piano finish on this. This thing is cool. This is uh, this is really, really cool. I, I'm such a sucker. I, you know what? I'll I'll stand in front of the bus that has the word "sucker" painted on it because I I will always give in to a <laughs> to to Iron Man, a hot toy. It's it's hot toys. They always know what to do. I mean, for comparison, they blew it out of the park with the. Uh, the Iron Man Mark IV. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Look at that. That gold finish on it with the uh, with the cherry hot rod red on it with that metallic coat. It's just awesome. And they did it again. They really, really did it again on this. I like it. I, I really, really do. Now I don't like it. I love it. Who am I kidding? It's it's <laughs> it's really it's really hard to 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 knock down hot toys on it. They always. They always keep improving. They always adapt. They always evolve. It's they might as well just call this the uh, the the Borg Iron Suit because uh, the res resistance is futile on this thing. This is really cool. They really did a good job. And yes, if you're wondering, I am getting the concept Mark 46 suit. the The Mark 46 from Civil War. They is one of my favorite suits. They really did a bang up job on that one. And I am looking forward to the concept Mark 46. This is more of a uh, expanded, it's not concept, I'd say it's more of a artist interpretation or, or, or of what Hot Toys is. E yes, it is a cash grab. Yes, it. Uh, they are stretching this design. But, uh, you know, if you build it, they will come and it's one of the more popular diecast Iron Man figures out there. This thing uh, sold out, uh, it was offered as a uh, uh, lottery uh, during uh, the New York Comic Con and uh, uh, they eventually had enough left over that it was available for us Joe Schmoes which I want to say was it was quickly quickly sold out we had a couple days on this so that's cool I mean it's it's really fortunate I really am stoked on this Let's see. Uh, let's see what we get with this thing. So you get your standard three pairs of hands, uh, your flight thrusters here, uh, the articulated hands, which I always dig. These are the ones I'm going to end up uh, keeping them posed with. And then this is the what is this? 
closed fist laser laser beam fist here this is where you can attach that laser beam effect that you do, uh, it comes with uh, underneath it you get what else what else you get with this thing you get uh, instructions a base batteries and uh, some tchotchke uh, attachments on here let's get this thing out let's take a look at this base this is this is where they lose a few points in my book here this is where uh, the the neon tech Iron Man is it's probably about 50% die cast and the majority of it is plastic and and the point is that it, it could be a little bit top heavy this base as cool as it looks it has that uh, tech etching on it it's really nice it's it's an attractive base it, it's, the problem is, is that a, a, a crotch grab with a die cast figure is, is, is typically not uh, is not desired it's not recommended I wouldn't recommend it we have here the laser beam effects for those uh, fist hands that uh, we saw a little bit earlier and then the tchotchke assortment on here what do we have here we have a uh, rocket thruster uh, assortment I don't you know the the mark when did the Mark IV have any of these attachments? I don't. Uh, Mark IV was Iron Man Two. He didn't have that suit very uh, very long in it. Uh, rocket thruster. Sword. That's neat. That'll probably cool, glow really really cool under black lighting. I like that they applied the uh, the fluorescent paint to uh, the tip so that uh, if you do expose it to black lighting, it should look really neat. Let's not waste any time here. I do want to power it up. I am not one of those collectors that is finicky. Oh, I, I won't install the batteries because I don't want it to corrode and leak. Well, f, f that. I'm putting in batteries. I spent a lot of goddamn money on this, and I want to see the arc reactor powered up on this bad boy. Uh, get my powered screwdriver on here. Let's get the batteries. By the way, if you're curious about my uh, micro-powered uh, screwdriver, link is in the description. You can uh, pick your very own on Amazon.com. Use my link uh, and uh, help support the channel so that I can uh, buy more Iron Man figures. Uh, pop the battery on here. and I do like the screwdriver. I, I do plug the, 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 the micro-screwdriver, but uh, it, it really is. It really is a cool screwdriver. It's... If you're lazy like me, and uh, <laughs> find it difficult to uh, to turn a screwdriver, uh, that that will come in handy. Arc reactor is powered up. Oh, that's neat. I I like the reflective, glossy, paint black finish. I really do love it. I, I like that. I don't have to break the instruction seal on this because I did replace the I not replace I did install the batteries, on my diecast Mark IV. So I, I am a well versed as to where these batteries are intended to go, and I actually like how they redesigned the uh, the helmet on the Mark IV, where it's a it's a two piece connection, and it's all connected with magnets, and it's really easy to uh, pop open and, and turn it on and pop the uh, the front plate on. I get this on, powered up, and I'm gonna get this screwed on here. Absolutely. Don't don't be one of those collectors that yeah, I don't want to install the batteries because I don't want it to grow. Man, enjoy. Play with your toys. I do. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The sucker's alive. It is alive. And uh, the uh, arm, not the arm, but the hand reactors, uh, the battery uh, component is on the bicep there. And I'm not going to I, you know what? I am going to install the batteries on there because I, I do want this thing fully. I do want this Neon Tech fully operational. Definitely. Uh, get your batteries on Amazon.com too. These batteries that they include, uh, once you turn them on, you grab your photos, you get 10, 15 minutes of power supply, and then they're completely dead. Let's go ahead and replace this. And this is something I noticed right off the bat. They are, I have a defective arm because I am positive that I left the switch off. Check that off, yep, it switches off, switches on, and it powers on, so I have a faulty connector there, so I, after the video, I'm probably gonna have to remove these batteries because it's it's just gonna die. So that is, maybe if I jimmy the connector, so that sucks. 
few points on there for shame hot toys on a defective connector there a little terminal uh, a little playing around with it and I got it to turn off but if I play with it too much it does turn on turn off there you go bitchin <laughs> and uh, here it is in its uh, full uh, museum stands pose with the arc reactor the helmet powered on I like it I really really do right next to the uh, die-cast uh, mark 4 which is it uh, it's, it's a repaint it's repainted uh, cousin and it, it looks great I like them both I really do man oh man I hope you guys are, are, are digging the whole reissues of the die-cast I they really are doing a bang up job on this it really is I like it I again the whole glossy black uh, finish on it. it it's nice it is nice it's just the the base here I, I don't I don't approve it looks cool I like the uh, the graphic that they etched on it but uh, it's not gonna work it's not gonna work for me so knowing that I would get the neon tech I did go ahead and pre-order uh, a separate base an Iron Man 2 neon tech uh, display base that has uh, black light arms attached to it that's designed specifically for this I got this from Hong Kong from my buddy Joe uh, thank you Joe I've had this for a few months now because I knew that uh, I would eventually get my hands on the neon tech and there it is without the uh, the figure powered on it uh, runs on a uh, uh, power uh, power outlet and there it is and I'm gonna do my gosh darnest to uh, uh, keep the camera focused and open it open the uh, the camera's aperture to to kind of get its beauty this right here uh, once it's powered on and it's with the black lighting it, it's it's very mesmerizing I, I the camera isn't doing it justice it the way it glows under black lighting really truly is a cool effect it really really is and uh, if you guys have seen the photos on Instagram and Facebook and people sharing it, it doesn't do justice this is one of those things that uh, the human eye has to just capture in person and this right here once the arc reactor is powered on and the helmets powered on it's really neat I, I yes you are catching me playing with it because it's it's a cool figure they really did a phenomenal job on this thing and uh, the way it glows is just really really mesmerizing I kind of adjusting the uh, the LED black light in the effect on here to kind of kind of get that light to, to bounce off of it is uh it's, it's nice there you go there's an overhead view on here and uh, I like how the LED uh, is, uh, arms do reflect off of it oh and going back to the box here the luminous reflective effects on the box and figure they weren't lying the box does glow <laughs> under black lighting I had to point that out. It's like, oh, they, they're, they're, they were definitely telling the truth there. It, it does glow under the black light. And uh, this is the action shot here with all the uh, little tchotchke uh, uh, arm effects attached on. I got the laser beams attached to the uh, closed fist uh, palms. And hopefully you guys can see uh, it's a battle stance attack mode on here. This is such a cool figure. This really, really is a cool figure. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video because this is this is just a lot, this is just a lot of fun. Uh, I had I had a lot of fun making this video. This is, I really did find myself kind of playing around with the whole black lighting effect, and uh, overall, this is a nice added piece. And there is the big time Spider Man, which glows under black lighting. <laughs> Hello, Spidey, folks. Thank you for watching another unboxing. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and uh, I'm going to go back to uh, playing with this thing. This is, this is cool. This is a really, really cool figure.